Gentlemen, your conversation makes interesting listening. Rumour, is that you? Oh, yes. How long have you been listening? Two, maybe three hours. <laughs> well, no one's got any disease, man. We're clean. You have to rescreen us, sir, as per Directive 699. No one's got any virus and no one's smegging nuts. Well, that's good. <laughs> is something amiss? Amiss? God, no. What could possibly be amiss? You don't think there's anything amiss? I'm sitting here wearing a red and white checked gingham dress <laughs> and army boots. <laughs> you think that's unamiss? No, of course not. It's just we thought you'd gone nuts. We were trying to heal you. I was just doing a little test. A little test to see if you'd gone crazy. <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand, it's crazy people. Well, we've passed the test, Rimmer. You can let us out. I can't let you out. Why not? Because the king of the potato people won't let me. <laughs> I've begged him. I've got down on my knees and wept. He wants to keep you here. Keep you here for ten years. Could we see him? <laughs> see who? The king. Do you have a magic carpet? Yeah. A little three-seater. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You want to fly on a magic carpet to see the king of the potato people. <laughs> and plead with him for your freedom. And you're telling me you're completely sane? <laughs> I think that warrants two hours of W-O-O. -O. What's W-O-O? -O? That's worse. <laughs> with out oxygen. No oxygen for two hours. That'll teach you to be bread baskets. What do we do? I think our only hope's the potato king. 